Buongiorno, good afternoon. Welcome to Miss Adrian's Pizza Parlor. Today at Steam Camp, we are live from Miss Adrian's Pizza Parlor. We're going to do some math today and we're going to do some um, art in making a paper pizza. So I hope you will enjoy our, uh, our uh, episode of Steam Camp today. Um, uh, it's available on uh, San Mateo County Library, smcl.org, and um, anything that you make today, think about tagging us so that we can see it. Uh, the tag that we'll be able to see it is SMCL Creates. Um, so go ahead if you make your paper pizza. Um, let us see what it looks like, what sort of toppings you put on it, and all that fun stuff. All right, this activity today, um, the pizza parlor activity uh, was developed by Bay Area Discovery Museum, and um, so I'm going to share that with you today. Um, to get in the mood, we're going to read a story first. Um, it's called, um, it's a pizza cat story, and um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that you can read along. All right, so here we are, Pizza Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party by Kimberly and James Dean. This is also um, published by HarperCollins. Here's our end pages, beautiful pizzas, lots of toppings. Pizza Cat loves pizza. Pizza Cat loves parties too. Pete had an idea of what he could do. He would have the perfect pizza party. Pete's friends all arrived. It was time to build the perfect pizza together. That would make the pizza even better. Pete thought the perfect pizza would be pepperoni with extra cheese. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pepperoni pizza party. But everyone did not agree. Callie said pepperoni would be just fine, but I really love pretzels on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pretzels? Well, that's something new, but maybe pretzels could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pizza party. Squirrel said pepperoni and pretzels would be just fine, but I really love pistachios on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pistachios? Well, that's something new, but maybe pistachios could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pizza party. Grumpy Toad said, pepperoni, pretzels, and pistachios would be just fine, but I really love pickles on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pickles? Well, that's something new, but maybe pickles could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pickle pizza party. Gus said pepperoni pretzels pistachios and pickles would be just fine, but I really love popcorn on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Popcorn? Well, that's something new, but maybe popcorn could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pickle popcorn pizza party. Alligators said pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, and popcorn would be just fine, but I really love papaya on mine. Now Pete and the gang were really puzzled. Papaya? Well, that's something new, but maybe papaya could be groovy too. It's a party. A party. A pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza party. Pete and the gang piled the pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, popcorn, and papaya on top. The pizza was so high, they had to stop. Ding, the pizza was done. Trying something new might be fun. They all built up the courage to take a first bite. And the pepperoni pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza was out of sight. Dynamite, just right. In the end, the perfect pizza is a pizza shared with friends. The end.
All right, so I hope you enjoyed that story. Give you some thoughts about different toppings we might want to put on our, our pizza. Um, and how did, uh, how did the friends fare with the suggestions? Did they, um, did they seem unreceptive when one of their friends decided that they wanted something else on their pizza? Unreceptive means they didn't want it. They didn't want it. No, that's right. They were, they were interested. They thought they should try. And it turned out that it was what? Really good. They seemed to like it. So who knows? Who knows? All right. So let's do our um, math activity now. So we're going to, um, we're going to do some counting with money. And um, as we get started, first let's go over our money. So um, I have a variety of coins and um, dollar bills here so that we can pay for our pizzas at the pizza parlor. Um, so let's go over the different types of uh, coins that we have that are available for us. So this coin, is a small copper coin. You might not be able to see that. Um, does anyone know what that's called? Yeah, this is a penny. And a penny is worth how much? One cent. That's right, one cent. So I have, let's find all of my pennies. I'm gonna count them. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pennies. All right. So that's how you count by ones. The next change I would like to show you is this one. This is a silver coin. It has Thomas Jefferson on it. It is worth five cents. Does anyone know what it's called? That's right, the nickel. So I have a nickel here, it's worth five cents. So let's count by fives. I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna count my nickels and we'll count by fives. So I have five, 10, 15, 20, 25. It looks like, oh no, there's, an, there's another one. 30. Okay, so I have 30 cents in nickels. Our next coin, I have a very small silver coin. Very small silver coin. Yes, that's right, it's a dime. So let's count how many dimes. We're gonna count by tens when we count our dimes, okay? So I have 10 here, 10 cents, because dime is worth 10 cents. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, it looks like that's it. So I have 80 cents in dimes here. And then the next one I have is a very, a large silver coin. This one has um, George Washington on it, large silver. That's a quarter, yes, a quarter. And a quarter is worth how much? 25 cents, that's right. One quarter is 25 cents. So we're gonna count by 25 now. So I have 25, 50, 75, 100. So I'm going to put four quarters equals one dollar. So I'm going to put that aside. So now I have one dollar. Let's count again. 25, 50, 75, 
one dollar. So that's another dollar there. Twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, another dollar. And then again, twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, another dollar. So I ended up having four dollars in quarters. Okay. Now I have a couple dollar bills here at our pizza parlor. So let's count how many dollar bills. How much is a dollar bill worth? That's right, it's worth one dollar. Okay, so let's count. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven dollars in ones. So I'm ready to pay for my pizza when, once um, we order our pizza. So let's look at our menu at the pizza parlor. Here's our menu. I'm gonna bring it a little closer so you can see the different toppings we have available. So you can see, what are some toppings we have here? Well, we've got a cheese pizza, a cheese pizza, and you can see on our menu is $5. So that's our base price for our cheese pizza. Pepperoni on our cheese pizza is 50 cents. Mushroom is 10 cents. Peppers, 20 cents. Extra cheese, $1. And Pineapple, 25 cents. Sounds good, I'm starting to get hungry. So, now that you've had a chance to look at our menu, what kind of pizza do you think you would like? Just yell out, tell me what you want on your pizza. You want a cheese pizza, Okay, you want cheese and then you want pepperoni. Good choice, lots of people like pepperoni. So let's do, I'm gonna write down your order so I don't forget like a proper waitress. Here we go. So you want a cheese with pepperoni. Okay, excellent. I'll be right back with your pizza. So let's have our pizza here. And um, if you have your, um, some paper at home, you might want to cut out a circle for your pizza. You can pause this and go ahead and cut it out. Um, I colored mine with um, colored pencils. And, um, but you might have colored paper that might work really well for this. So go ahead and you want to make your paper pizza, go ahead and do that. I'm going to stick my paper pizza to my pizza peel here so that I can make my pizza. So here's our pizza, and we want pepperoni on your pizza, right? So I have some pepperoni here. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on my pizza. Very nice, so we've got our pepperoni pizza. Now, when we go out, how do we know how much the pepperoni pizza costs? Well, we're gonna do a little bit of math. So, if our base price for our pizza is $5, right? Then our pepperoni is 50 cents. And we're gonna add those two things together. So I have my $5, my 50 cents, and what we're going to get is $5.50. Okay, so that is how you would add it up if you use 
paper and pencil, and you could use decimal. But we can also just count using our money, which is another good way to do it, um, especially if we um, need to do that and we're young. So let's count out our money. So if we had, so if our pizza costs five dollars, let's count out five dollars. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have five dollars and then I need another 50 cents. How could I get 50 cents? That's right, I could use two quarters, 25, 50, and then I have 550. But I could do other things too. There's other combinations I could do, right? So maybe I want to use dimes. How many dimes would I need for 50 cents? Let's count. Let's find out if you're right. 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So five dimes for 50 cents. That's right. Alright, so that's right. We've got five dollars and fifty cents for our pepperoni is five fifty. Okay. So let's try another one. What's some other toppings we might want on our pizza? So I'll take off our pepperoni here. Do we have any other toppings you'd like to try on your pizza? Did I hear pineapple? Do we have adventurous people? Let's put some pineapple on this pizza. Yeah, here's some pineapple on our pizza. Oh, did I hear peppers? Are we in the alliterative pea pizzas like in our story? Let's try some peppers, huh? Peppers. Okay, so we have a pineapple pepper pizza. Let's see how much that would cost. So our pizza was five dollars to start, right? Five point zero five zero pepper. Oh no, we didn't do pepperoni. We did peppers. Twenty cents. Zero dollars. Point two zero, right? And then we had pineapple, which is zero dollars. 0.25, 25 cents. So let's add up our math to find out how much our pizza will cost. Okay, so adding up we get that pizza, the pepperoni pineapple pizza is $5.45. But we could also use our money to count. So let's do that. So we have one, two, three, four, five dollars for our base price for our pizza. Then we're going to get 20 cents. How could we make 20 cents? Yes, we could use two dimes, right? Two, 10, 20. Or how else could we make 20 cents? Yeah, we could use nickels. How many nickels would make 20 cents? Let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. So four nickels makes 20 cents. So we could get 20 cents and then another 25 cents for our pineapple. And of course, the easiest way to get 25 cents is by using a quarter, because it is 25 cents. What's another way we could make 25 cents? Yes, that's right. We could use dimes, two dimes, and 
Yes, a nickel. Or what else could we use to? We have 20 cents in dimes, two dime. We could add a nickel to it to make 25, or we could add five pennies, right? One, two, three, four, five. So that's 25. Then if I take all of the money that I counted out, $5, and I add it all together, we do our counting, we would come up with 5, 10, 15, 20 cents in nickels, 20 plus 2 dimes, 30, 40, and plus 5 pennies is 45. 5, 45 for our pizza, our pepperoni pineapple pizza. <laughs> All right. So, I hope you're having fun using our pretend pizza shop. I think we'll do one more pizza um, before we call it a day. Um, let's do, before we do that, let's go over some um, cooking utensils. So things we might want to use for our pizza. This, does anyone know what this is? Yeah, it's a grater. So if you have cheese, a big block of cheese for your pizza, and you want to Grate it up to put it on your pizza. This is what you're going to use to make it smaller. I also have here a, what's, has anyone ever seen one of these before? This is a rolling pin. Um, you can use it to make things flat, but you don't often have to use that when you're making a pizza because um, pizza dough, what they do is it's stretchy and people spin it to make it a circle. So you toss it up in the air, catch it, mostly on your fist. So that's fun. And then this little item here is called a pizza peel. Um, you put your pizza on there and then it's a good way to get it in and out of a hot oven so you don't burn your hands. You just slide it in there. And then when you're done, when the pizza's all ready, you kind of shimmy it under the pizza and take the pizza out of the oven, and then you eat it. <laughs> okay, let's do one more pizza math, and then we'll be done for steam camp today. All right, what haven't we tried yet? Oh, we haven't tried mushroom. Let's have a mushroom pizza, huh? That's always, that was always my sister's favorite growing up, and I did not agree. And that's a good point. Let's do a half and half pizza. Uh -huh. So we've got $5 as our base pizza price, $5. Then we want half mushroom. So let's actually, since we're only doing half mushroom and we'll do half extra cheese, let's do a little division. Let's only charge half of the price for half of the pizza. So if mushroom is normally 10 cents, what? is half of 10 cents. So what is half of a dime? What? Yes, a nickel is half of a dime. Two nickels equals one dime. So half mushroom is just going to be five cents. So we'll do 0 0.05, five cents for a half mushroom. Let's do half extra cheap. So what is half of a dollar? Well, if a dollar is equal to four quarters, if we take our quarters and we split them in half, then we only have two quarters, right? So two quarters, if we were to count them up, is 25.50. 50 cents is half of a dollar. So we're going to add 50 cents or half of an extra cheese. And then we'll add it all up. 50 cents, 5 cents, and $5 
equals five dollars and fifty-five cents for a pizza that has half extra cheese. Let's make our pizza actually. So I gotta add my half extra cheese and half mushroom. All right, so you can see we've got a delicious pizza here for you. Half mushroom, half extra cheese, and lots and lots of fun. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed STEAM Camp today. My name is Ms. Adrian. I'm one of the children's librarians at San Mateo County Library. And um, keep up your math skills this summer. We also have our summer learning program like we have every summer, so don't forget to check that out. It's at summerlearners.org. You can sign up uh, and um, read and get registered or get um, entered to win a $1,000 college scholarship. So thank you for coming to Steam Camp, and I will see you next week.